You know what I do f with at the 7 Eleven? Is the taquitos. Great. That, that, roll, <laughs> that, that they roll around on the heater with the hot dogs. Hey, everybody, it's Justin. And I'm Brooke. As recipe developers, we develop like hundreds of recipes a year, and a huge part of that process is sourcing ingredients, getting inspiration while we grocery shop. In Grocery Showdown, we're gonna put those skills to the test, starting by spinning our big ass wheel of grocery stores to determine which store we're each going to. Then we will shop at our respective grocery stores for the exact same dish, but using what those stores have for us to inspire us. Finally, we'll bring all our ingredients back here and show you guys what we found. Then we're gonna cook and determine whose dish is better, and there's two ways to win. One, by having the cheapest groceries, and two, by having the most delicious final product. For this grocery showdown challenge, we are going to be cooking brunch. Brunch is so silly. What a silly, silly, silly invention. Don't shave brunch. Even like the word being pushed together <laughs> of two other words is just silly. I love it. But the best part about brunch is you can literally eat whatever you want. There's no rules. You can have a pork chop. You can have an omelet. You can have fried chicken. You can have a mimosa. You can do whatever you want. As someone who doesn't love like sweet breakfast, I like that it opens my pantheon mm -hmm. that I could like have a meatloaf sandwich and no one's gonna be like, what are you eating? Why are you doing that at 10 in the morning? There's no rules whatsoever. Also, there's usually booze involved which is always a plus. Before we get into it, there are a couple of rules. First rule, Brooke. First rule is we only have $25. Also, we can use any oils and spices we have in this here well-stocked kitchen. Also, we have to use a store brand whenever humanly possible. Finally, we only have 45 minutes to do this cook. Is that enough time? No, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's grab the wheel. Ba -da -ba, copyright. <laughs> <laughs> This is parody. <laughs> Legally, we're good. On today's episode, we have 7-Eleven and Wawa. Two incredible convenience stores. Not the best place to be shopping for brunch, Not obviously. But like low key, if I don't get Wawa, I'm gonna set fire to this building. I love Wawa so much. I'm from New Jersey. Big thing in my heart. Chelsea is in my car with me today. She Woo! is a Pennsylvania native. And if she doesn't get Wawa, she's gonna come to my house. I will. And she's gonna murder me. I oh. will. I did spend a summer in Philly and I fell in love with Wawa a little bit, so I too want Wawa. No shade to 7-Eleven, but I just feel like I'll find more actual food at Wawa. There's always that weird janky aisle and it has like a lot of canned foods, deli meats, and there's that like fridge that has like cheese sticks. Oh. I feel like all those things, like I'm gonna get a Lunchable and figure something out. If you have Wawa, you have the deli. You could like- That's true. Get a sandwich and just serve the sandwich for That's so bad. That's a really good idea. <laughs> All right, let's spin this baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. It's fine. No! We're good, we're good. I'm no! actually dying inside. Well, here's the thing, Chelsea, I'm gonna get you a Slurpee. That'll make up for it? Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. You know what I do with at the 7-Eleven? Is the taquitos. Great. That, that <laughs> roll around on the heater with the hot dogs. I'm gonna pitch something to you. Okay. Because we're trying to make brunch, we want something of substance. So I think we should split a dozen eggs between the two of us. Okay. And get some flour and then some form of leavening agent, baking powder, baking soda. I love that. Well, if you only use two eggs, I'm gonna use all eight. No. Well, it just depends who gets them first. I will just crack all the eggs into one bowl. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, shall we go to our favorite convenience stores? Yes, I'm let's get, get it. I'm getting a big soda. I'm getting a big soda. And I'm getting a chicken tender sandwich. I cannot believe that not only did you get a hat from one of my favorite places that is so sick, but it also matches your current outfit and yes. the bag. That I did not plan. I can't handle it. You look amazing. Thank you. Wow. They literally gave it to me just because I was nice, so I'm gonna try to be nice more often. Oh, there's a little 
cars on it, little gas There's little pumps. tiny New Jersey's on little it. Little tiny New Jersey's. There's tiny I New Jersey's. I cannot believe you didn't get me one. Honestly, it, it was salt. free. I wasn't about to push my luck. Yeah, push your luck. Okay. So Mark was there. You could have been like, and my buddy Mark needs it. And then I would have taken it from Mark. <laughs> I feel like I have more familiarity with 7-Eleven. So at first I was a little bit worried because I just didn't know what I was going to find in Wawa. Mm. But I'm, I'm not mad now. I feel like I found some stuff that is solid. Well, mine... It was a little less delicious. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of surgery just because I wanted to prolong its shelf life. So I needed to like kind of separate it out so mm -hmm. that, cause I'm gonna use both components differently. Okay. So I got two hot dogs and I put them in my core containers. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want the buns to get soggy and super hot doggy. And I didn't want the uh, hot dogs to get, I don't know. Bunny. Ready. <laughs> 438, two hot dogs. Oh man. I'll be real, these looked really bad. <laughs> on the conveyor belt. They Sometimes they look all right, these look bad. Once I got them in the buns, they looked a little bit better, but now they are like not doing so hot what at the moment. What color is that? Yeah, I feel like this is a cigar. You know how like guys like smell it like I don't feel before like they that. smoke it? <laughs> sorry, no. No, that's it, sorry. Mm. Hot dog smell. I'm psyched because this is like the first time that I've like done okay on budget, I think. <laughs> the next thing that I'm gonna take out of here are these little pickle bites. These were $1.89. I think they're literally just crunchy dill. Like slices. Pickle slices. Okay. Because I was expecting they were gonna have like a big, gross, fat pickle in a bag. Yeah, like a big vat of pickles. And I guess they just don't do that anymore because I tried to nickel, nickel and dime you because feel how little there are in there. This is like maybe half a pickle in here, maybe. I got some 7-Eleven brand fiery hot potato chips. These were $2.29. Have you ever had those before? Nope. Then what is a trip to a convenience store without uh, an energy drink. This is a Monster Energy, $3.69. I've never had one of these. Ew, <laughs> that's the only word I have. Then I have this Guava Goya Nectar Juice. This was $1.59. And then I have an orange. Okay. $1.29. Okay. I was surprised, they had lemons too. Really? Yeah. Okay, now we can head into my free portion of the day. Excuse me? Um, there is a toppings bar oh. at the hot dog station. Surprisingly, it has like actual veg vegetables. Of course there is. Um, so I got some onions, some pickled jalapenos, and some tomatoes. It didn't, I didn't put it in this core container, <laughs> but I got a bunch of veg, which I'm psyched about. And That's this was free. pretty smart. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. And then I got a bunch of sugar packets. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that I'm kind of psyched on budget. I feel like there's still a chance that you're gonna beat me, but I think that there's a chance I'm gonna squeak it out. Do you wanna guess? Yeah, if you're excited on your budget, then I'll guess that you were reasonably away from the $25 mark. So I'll give you $20 and 18 cents. 15.89. Whoa. Whew. Whew. I mean, this one's kind of cheating because our like we're getting eggs and a couple other things. So, but still, cheating's a strong word. <clears throat> and we're Most both people have eggs in their fridge, also. Exactly. Yeah, whatever. For breakfast, <sighs> please. So I have like a, a similarly hodgepodgey collection of things. I got a meat tube. Meat tube. They don't have a Wawa brand meat tube. So I got this one. It's 13 grams of protein. Can I see this? Yeah. This is called a fatty. It is. Look at this. <laughs> she did. Imagine eating this in a car. <laughs> Imagine the carnage inside of your tummy that must be happening when you swallow all of this. I it's can't fine. imagine. They actually had bacon at Wawa. It was a pound Ooh. of bacon and it was like $7. And I was like, I can't afford that. So no, no. this meat stick was $3.29, which for two ounces of meat stick, that is very expensive. <laughs> That's more than what one of the hot dogs cost. That's fine. They didn't have hot dogs. Well, did they have hot dogs? I probably could have gotten hot dogs. It's fine, whatever, I didn't think about that. Next thing, I got a little baby orange juice. How much did it cost, do you remember? I think it was like a dollar Wait, is it on your receipt? It's really not on here. I remember did her- Did you steal orange juice from Ah, uh, That's such a strong word. I just don't see it on the receipt. I think we're gonna have to have a judge's rule if you can even Use it. I'm gonna use it. I don't, I don't know. I don't care. I don't, I don't know if shoplifting it. counts in grocery shopping. That's pounds. such a strong word. Maybe she just helped me out and gave me some orange juice. I mean, you did get a free hat. I did. Whatever the tally is for your budget, though, it has a major asterisk next to it. It does, but I do remember how much this was, though. This was a dollar twenty-nine. I could be making that up, but I promise I'm not. I got a banana. She's brown. She brown, but I like a brown banana because they're usually sweeter. And this banana was 89 cents. 
I also got a baby tiny strawberry flavored yogurt. I actually wanted something plain, but then I thought about it and I was like, I should try to add as much flavor as I can wherever. This yogurt was $1.99. I also have a tiny pineapple box, also Wawa brand. These pineapples were $2.79. A jar of salsa. A whole ass jar? I need the whole jar, so this is fine for me. This was $4.09. One more thing that would not fit in my bag. These tortilla chips were $4.59, and they were actually the cheapest tortilla chips that they had. I was about to say, because this looks like a bougie brand. <laughs> They're called tortilla. Oh! <laughs> nice! Tortilla. Okay, last but not least, I put together a custom salad at Wawa just to get some freshness into whatever I'm gonna be making. Am I dumb for not realizing that Wawa, I guess it shows how sandwich-minded I am. I didn't know that you could get a yeah, salad Yeah, you at can Wawa. get a salad. Yeah, I should have thought about the base better because I don't know what I'm about to do with this lettuce. Are there chips in there? They're, oh my God, I'm about to show you. So there's red onion, tomato, lettuce, um, and these little like fried jalapeno chip dealios. Oh. Which I was like, obviously I want those, so I threw I those in the salad too. I just want to eat it. And there's also feta in here, crumbled up, um, that I'm gonna have to pick out. And this custom Wawa salad was six dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh, you spent money. Man. I did. I was in there balling. The salads obviously come with a dressing, so I went with Chipotle Ranch, and I don't know what it tastes like, but we're obviously gonna try it. Yeah. Do you want to guess how much I spent? I'm gonna guess you were at like twenty three sixteen. Um, so close. Uh, before taxes, I was at twenty four sixty three. Wait, that means you can't use the orange juice. After taxes, I was at twenty five oh nine. Justin, the way I'm using this orange juice, I don't care. Nope. It can put me over budget. Okay. I don't care. What a dumb way to go over budget. I don't care. So I solidly win budget. Yes. You I'm solidly win. I, I'm winning budget. Hundred percent. Far and away. I'm so proud of you. I'm psyched. I think you're gonna be excited about what my idea is. Got pickle bites and monster. Like I, I'm terrified. Okay, let's cook. Hmm. Let go. Hmm. We have our dozen eggs. Mm -hmm. Neither of us wanted to use the flour. I'm good on flour. Fascinating. Flour implies baking, which implies mistakes to me. <laughs> 45 minutes, we can use anything in this kitchen. Sauces, spices, condiments. Start the timer. Okay. Taking my eggs. I'm gonna like decompose the salad that I <laughs> ordered. But I'm really excited about these little jalapeno chippy things. I think I'm gonna refry them so they get like all crispy. Mm. Um, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So that should be uh, fun to find out. And I'm actually kind of salty that I have all this lettuce because I don't know what to do with it. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's fire. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, it's are very... you making French toast? No, no. you have bread. I'm so dumb. Okay. Well, yes, I am making French toast, you but this bread? isn't for that. Are you making French toast? Partially, but that's not what this is. I'm so angry. How are you doing that? With a hot dog bun? Oh God. Oh! God. oh it, wow! It, it's nasty. Ooh. You've never had one? Tastes like medicine. It tastes like alien pee. How do you know what that tastes like? I just imagine that that's what <laughs> alien pee tastes like. Woof, that monster is Woof. tough. <laughs> I should have honestly gotten one of those lemons because I need acid. Why didn't you get like a flavored monster? Uh, Because I can only imagine that that would be worse. You know, you're right. And then I'm also making a granita, a monster energy. What is the fancy version of a Slurpee? It's oh a granita. God. That's actually kind of fun. I'm excited to see how that comes out for you. A granita is essentially just like a mixture of some liquids that are then transferred and put into a, like a thin layer, uh, then frozen, then scraped, and then frozen again to make like a snow. It's like, like an icy, ice. right? Yeah, it's yeah. like a boot. It's literally, literally like all it is, is just ice. It's, it's ice, just that's ice. <laughs> it's ice that's flavored and scraped. It's flavored ice. I'm gonna kind of use this feta like a fake me out cotija also. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you baking it? I'm no, so I'm confused. putting, I'm just, this is what I'm just putting it in while I freeze it. You're like really that? freezing that right? Um, what do you mean? Oh, I got to. I guess that does take. I only have 45 minutes. Okay. Do you want some energy? Absolutely not. Actually, you know what? I might, I might need to amp it yeah. a little bit. Honestly, chase it with this though, because this is just yummy. It smells like tussin. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is nasty. Nasty. I need really to revive though. these Ooh. hot dogs because they look the this, right? they look musty. These look you insane. Oosh, oosh, magoosh. They'll look better when I slice them. Like that looks more hot doggy. Ooh, that's such a strange color. <laughs> Explain to the fine folks what chile quiles is. Oh, it's 
basically tortilla chips they are cooked in salsa so it has like this amazing kind of half crispy half crunchy half soggy texture that i personally really enjoy typically folks fry their own chips for chilaquiles the only thing that i'm worried about is how thin the chips are because i well how thin or thick they are because i don't know the chip thickness of this particular brand and i feel the like ct Huh? The CT the chip thi Right. I don't know the chip to to width uh, to chip size ratio. This is actually the only salsa they had, uh, but I'm gonna doctor it up a little bit. I'm making a uh, a hot dog, convenience store hot dog frittata. Um, and I wanted to know, should I keep the pickles this thickness? Will that be insane? <laughs> You're asking for help. You're not terrible. help. I'm asking an opinion. That is a little crazy. Yeah, I think you should bit. cut them in half. I'd be so mad if I bit into that. Did you try that jalapeno chip? No, I didn't. I think I want to fry. Should I just eat it first? I should eat it first. Are you going to refry them? Yeah, I was going to refry them. Smart. Well, are they garnish or are they going in it? They're garnish. Mm. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. All right. It's at the end. The heat is at the end. Jesus. Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. I feel like they definitely need like texture help. These hot dogs are really sad. So I'm gonna fry them off in a bunch of butter to like make them look half decent, so that they don't look crusty, wrinkly, sad. I'm oh yeah, what are you doing with the, the fatty? It's basically gonna be like a beef jerky chilaquiles. I had bacon. Well, you would have gone so expensive. over budget. <laughs> it was way too expensive. And Mark was like, "What if you just use beef jerky instead?" And I was like, "That's gross, but we we're gonna try it." <laughs> and I got the floppiest one I could find because I had really firm beef jerky, but I figured like. If I'm gonna like fry it up again, I don't want really firm beef. I like floppy. So I as got a floppy. term, looking better already. Just getting a little oil slick on them, they'll look a lot better. Why are they so many different colors? <laughs> well, there's the ends and the outsides. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this looks like little sausages. I'm just gonna tell them it's sausage. Is that is lying okay? It's not lying. What's what's the different? What makes that not a sausage? You are absolutely right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm getting away with murder. It's just a fat Slim Jim. I actually don't like that. The aftertaste, the initial taste is like, great. And then at the end it's like, <laughs> oh no. It's fine. There's so many other things going on. I feel like he's just gonna appreciate like a little protein in there. Making a smoothie to go with my chilaquiles. And I really honestly might turn this list into like a little side salad. We'll see. We'll see if I have time for that. But the smoothie is just bananas, pineapple, orange juice, Justin's stolen guava juice that I don't think he knows that I have. Um, and a little yogurt and some ice. First she steals from a store. I, then she steals from a me. Let's see what these tortillas are talking about. Okay, these actually have a pretty good thickness. Can I have one? Can I have They're one? They're salty-ish. Hell. Let me try this. My salsa. girlfriend likes hint of lime. Oh! And it's. Oh. I'm gonna steal a story of hers so that's not good. mine. Uh, she once was eating hint of lime chips so voraciously that a piece of chip got stuck in her eye, and she had to like get it flushed out by her roommate, <laughs> and it was like a full medical emergency. In her eyeball, mm -hmm. the lime ones are so like so extra tangy. But I think I that, know that yeah, hurt. a the acid must be bad, but also you're missing the point that the the eating of the chips were voracious enough that there was like debris happening. <laughs> I see what's happening, I'm not helping. No, I'm, I'm gonna. Give me, give me. Yeah. Justin opens all my charms. No, well, you know what? This is not gonna work, but is you know what? Is it slick? This is a tip and trick. Hey, we're just trying to be service oriented here on Grocery Showdown. Take the back of a butter knife, start hitting the ends of the jar, and that typically works. Or you can pretend to struggle and find a Justin. There you go. I'm gonna fry off my vegetables, or at least my onions and my uh, tomatoes in uh, the rendered hot dog fat. <laughs> You're really going for it. Oh, I got some little brown bits on my my fatty pieces. It's taking everything within my power to not have 18 more of your tortilla chips. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat them, I actually need <laughs> most of them. I know. Please do not. I'm getting a rolling pin. Can you get me a, a, a tiny pan? Maybe. Like a tiny cast iron? Maybe. Please? Thank you. And to amp up this salsa, I'm going to Toast some spices in the pan to give the salsa a little bit more oomph. Here's your GD little butter warmer. Thank you. You're welcome. Couldn't find a rolling pin, so I am gonna use this uh, gas lighter refill. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm just what? trying to roll out this bread really quick. <laughs> I 
be whatever works. I know, right? right at you. What? It doesn't smell like gas. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna beat five eggs for my frittata and one egg for my for my French toast. I'm hitting the spices with a little bit of heat first, just so they actually taste like something. I'm gonna throw in half of these little tiny chopped onions and half of my chopped tomatoes. In goes my salsa. I put water in the salsa just to thin it out a little bit so that I have enough to coat the chips because I couldn't afford two jars of salsa. Are you using all of your eggs? Uh, Be straight with me. I don't think so. I think Can I'm Can I have using... one more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I stole your guava juice. So Yay! It's fine. Because I just put so much cinnamon in, in this. Let's see what the sauce tastes like. Wait, how much time do we have left? 16 to both. Oh, shit. That's bad. Oh, you, that's have a whole, bad. you have a whole ass smoothie to make. Oh my god. Uh, the fun part of chilaquiles is just bathing all the tortilla chips in the salsa and making sure they all get a nice little coating. I'm gonna put it in the oven so I don't have to think about it and so my eggs have time to cook. I'm gonna add these back in. Try these spicy fire chips. <laughs> but they're bright red, they're not gonna be that hot, I don't think. Yeah. Honestly, like not spicy. Try this. Like maybe at the very end they're spicy. Uh, uh. I may got a not spicy chip. Oh no, they're not really spicy. You're right. Oh my god, I broke an egg. No! Maybe you shouldn't have given me that extra egg. It's fine, it's fine. I can't like mess this up though, right now. Okay, focus up. Oh my god. Oh, that one almost broke. Mind you, hot. Okay, smoothie time. Just gonna put the fruit in. Just gonna use this whole yogurt, because why not? And um, some of my stolen guava juice. And some ice. 10 minutes. Heard that, thank you. I'm like done with this. I'm gonna throw it in the oven right now. Then I'm gonna make my little French toast moment. Cool, good thing that's blended enough. I should probably taste this, but I'm not going to because I feel like it tastes good. All right, I'm gonna let my first boys soak for a minute. And while I do that, I'm going to also scrape my granita. Look, it's froze. Wow. Do you feel granita? I am impressed. It could be more frozen. This is, but this is like slushy texture so far, so I'm just gonna it's scrape it up. It's pretty slushy. And then I'm going to put it back in the freezer. This Chipotle ranch looks interesting, but I don't know what it tastes like, so. Taste it, taste it. Oh. I would trust their condiment game. It kind of doesn't know what it's it- It's a little watery. It doesn't know what it wants to be when it grows up, but I'm hoping I can, um, <laughs> Make this feel like a crema kind of situation? Yeah, I think it will. My trick to making some decently kind of good French toast is before you put it on the pan, put a little extra sugar on Ooh. the actual French toast itself as it helps to with like caramelization. Okay, these look kind of promising. These low-key look like uh, like Utz chips. But yeah, they're, they're, they're like ridged. I feel like mine is probably close to done, so I'm gonna transfer. Oh, trans oh yeah. Okay, go in here. Time check. It's just about to be five minutes. Okay. okay. Perfect. I appreciate you for that second egg. It's helping me. I'm glad. And I also feel like we're in like the, this is the first episode where we're like, instead of external panicking, it's inter oh, <laughs> internal it's panic. It's all internal Inside panic. of our brains, it's just that scene from SpongeBob where it's all the SpongeBob's running around and setting filing cabinets on fire. Would they all have glasses? <laughs> yes. Okay, I actually want to see what these taste like. That's fun. I don't know how much it's gonna add, but I don't think it'll take anything away, so that's fine. I need to be very accurate with my squiggles, so I have different squeeze bottles that I'm transferring these squeeze bottles <laughs> to. Condiments count. Right behind you. Watch for everyone that's gonna now write in the comments, Justin used <laughs> condiments count. Okay, this actually looks like chilaquiles, and I'm low-key a little bit excited to eat it. I definitely should not have put these on top. These need to be hidden, and now they won't be, and it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. 
He's gonna know this is Slim Jim. So I'm psyched though, because I think this will be the episode where he won't know which one is his. Because <laughs> kind of both of them are pretty unhinged. They're a little unhinged, it's fine. A little jalapeno chippies. Oh yeah, this is very unhinged. This is now starting to get a little tight. Get a little panicked? Not panicked, but I'm like, oh, I got more things to cook. I got more things to plate. I got more things to do. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're fine. That looks really cute. One minute left. Perfect. All right, my microgreens on top. <laughs> I'm so psyched. That looks so stupid. Rob's gonna have a tummy ache. <laughs> He's not going that to be happy. That looks kind of fun. I knew the squiggles were gonna make half of it. It looks pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. Jeez, Louise. Thirty seconds left. Whoa! F <laughs> that is terrifying. Most terrifying words I've ever heard. I don't want to your smoothie, but I gotta take my thing out. Careful. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. This is not drizzling. Oh, it is, never mind. Okay. Holy, are you for real? Seven, six, five. Excuse me. Four, three, two, one. You did it. You did it! There's a pickle <laughs> on my friend's toast. Wow. I know, right? It's very silly. The sausage moments in both of these are very good. I'm actually very impressed with both of us, considering what we had at our disposal was not much. But actually, you're, in my opinion, doesn't matter <laughs> because the only person whose opinion matter is our consummate judge our good friend our food director robert satius is coming on to set he's gonna judge us really hard <laughs> okay. can't wait to be judged <laughs> hi rob are you hungry hi justin yeah i'm hungry Great. yes brooke <laughs> <laughs> first off we have today we have wawa and 7-eleven two very similar yep places not really known for their groceries, we split a dozen eggs. Yes. Because uh -huh. we couldn't guarantee, and this is a brunch episode after all, so mm -hmm. we wanted to give us that opportunity. All right. So um, we at least both have eggs. I think I know who did what. Which one? All right, yeah, if I you want to just visually oh. already guess. <laughs> visually I already guess. know, but I'm going to keep Go, it. Go, no, say it. I'm going to keep it at the end. This no. Just, this Justin's. Okay. <laughs> this is mine. Yeah. Great. So we have um, hot dog bun, French toast. We have a beautifully energizing monster energy guava and orange granita slash like bougie slurpee. <laughs> and then this is a hot dog frittata. It has hot dogs, hot chips, pickles, a little bit of onion and tomato from the condiment bar, um, and then okonomiyaki style yep. ketchup and mustard Got on that. top. Before I even start, looks like really scrumptious. Mm. I want to. I want to eat this. It's great. It's Boom. silly. It's yeah. <laughs> it's definitely silly. Yeah. That, yeah. It's it's, it's silly. Like. All right. All right. Let's let's get in there. I'm with some more. Hold on. Oh. Make sure you get some chips. Wait, that's pickle. pickle. Oh, the pickle, man. Even though the eggs are a little overcooked, Over. it's okay though. It's almost. I'm looking at this like a pizza. Mm. It's almost like a pizza and. For me, that overcooked egg works for some reason. I don't know. Great. Color, everything beautiful. I love the Okonomiyaki stuff. Boom, 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 boom. I love yellow mustard, <laughs> personally. That's also Yellow mustard's the best. I love yellow mustard. Yellow mustard's Did, the were best. Were you cool with the chips? I like the chips idea. I would have put, I would have put a lot more chips. Oh, okay. Mm. All righty. A lot they more crumbled chips. or mm -hmm. were they too big? No, no, no. Good size, but just a lot more. Okay. And honestly, I didn't intend it to work like this, but you could use the granita. Let me get you a spoon as okay. a palate cleanser. It's monster. That's cleansing. <laughs> oh. Not necessarily good. So this is... <laughs> this Hot is dog bun French toast. Yeah. And it's supposed to go with this? <laughs> it's, a it's a balanced breakfast. It's a smart thing to do with hot dogs, hot dog buns, because usually they just sit there and you throw them out and they get all moldy. I'm trying to think of flaws in this and... Do you want me to nice. put this on this? Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> Love how it's flattened. Did you soak that? How long? Almost a minute. You did? Yeah. Okay. okay. I think that is just a really dense, cheap bun, so it yeah. wasn't getting yeah. it sunk through all mm -hmm. the way. Mm-hmm. That's good. Cool. That's really good. I'm so mad. Obviously, this is my take on Wawa brunch. 
Um, it is chilaquiles, if you could not tell. Red chilaquiles, <laughs> and you have some fresh tomatoes on top, a couple fresh red onions, some pickled jalapeno chips, mm. uh -huh. and um, some sliced uh, sausage, and a little bit of uh, greenery on top, some feta, mm. and like a chipotle ranch situation. Anything else? <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot going on there, which is fine. <laughs> and on the side, you have a little refreshing smoothie. It's Smart. pineapple, banana, orange, and guava. And there's no she knows energy. I love smoothies. I did not know that. You didn't know that? No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, this is gonna, um, okay, I will, I will serve right. you up. I'll make you a little plate. Okay, so let's talk about how it looks. Okay. Um, it looks nice, not enough tomato. In the salsa, I in, fortified oh, it with extra tomato, oh, so I used half of it on top and so half it in there. So this is more like, it's like an it's adornment, like, it's, 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 if, if you will. Yes. Garnish. Okay. All right, hold up, hold up. Okay, hold on. I'm going to hit the get the egg. Ooh, it's jammy. It's jammy. I don't How's taste... cook on it? Damn! Wait. That's cookie. perfect, dude. You yeah, the egg, is, the egg is the egg is perfect. Look, look at that yolk. This is actually tasty. Okay. Where's the salsa? Is there salt? Is there, there how is much salsa, salsa in there? But I will say I probably could use a little more. It's a little okay. dry. That's yep, good. looks very nice. Okay. I like this this whole deal. Deal. Nice. The eggs are beautiful. Okay. Eggs are beautiful. There's some dryness here, and I know it's hard when you do this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. At a time to to get it nice and moist. You're oh. not believing a word <laughs> no, I'm no, saying, no, are you? She's not believing. Every when I was cooking it, I said I was worried that it was going to be a little bit too dry because yeah. I didn't have as much salsa well, as I intended. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Did you, but I will take that chips? note. No, no, did no, you get all the components? Did you get the sausage, I did. I got the, the little well, jalapeno chips? What is this? What is this? The cream? Is a no, no, no. What's the yellow? It's jalapeno no. Oh, yes. Yeah, so ranch cream. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's a uh, Chipotle ranch. Okay. Like, more of it. You want more of it? Oh, I oh, want yeah. more. No, no, don't. <laughs> you got some um, Chipotle. I don't want people to think that I'm trashing this. It's really good. It's good. Sometimes you give. But I know. Wait, let me taste the smoothie. Sometimes first of you all. give more critiques to the things that you like more. Mm -hmm. That's definitely true. He said he true. wants more. Mmm. A plus plus. Grand slam. All right. Um, the winner. The winner is is over here. This guy, um, is that our first out now? Boom, 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 boom. That's is. the winner. I think it is. I That's think the winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah, I didn't see that yeah, guy yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, all right. Justin. Now you should eat the rest if you like I, <laughs> <laughs> To be totally fair to Brooke, I've done this, I've made this similar a hundred times. Uh -huh. I mean, oh, it's going to feel, there's going to, yeah, <laughs> it's going to feel dry if, if it, with the tortillas. Salsa. Yeah, with the tortillas and it's everything. Okay. Well, I'm satisfied. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Rob, uh, of once course, again for of choosing course. me as the winner. Yes, once again. Um, but uh, until next time. Thank All you right. so much. Get the rest of your smoothie. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Rob. Later, Bye. Later. Bye. Bye. Huh, I'm happy you actually won for once. That um. I've won before, but now this is like a real one where I didn't screw up budget. I didn't screw up anything. Yeah, just... you had a whole clean win, and I'm low-key proud of you because I. Honestly, I had way more faith in myself than I probably should have. But this is like actually something I'd like give to friends. Aww. This is not something. I mean, Rob is my friend, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't really serve this name if I was. I would trying never to make feed him, this to my I was trying to friends. make him happy. That's fair. This isn't what I would. Give I feel to like friends. I also need to go back to that Wawa and give them their dollar twenty nine for this one. <laughs> no, it's fine. It listen. If it's in the register area and it's not rung up. That's their fault. It's not on me. It's not on me. <laughs> Since you did win this very cleanly, you won on budget and you won on flavor, I want to present you with a present. Oh! I crown you king of brunch. And you know what? It, I was worried this actually does fit my nice. enormous cranium. <laughs> I, I bucket hats kind of look too fissy on me, but I don't know. I'm going to try to rock it. I actually, believe it or not, feel like I'm a slightly better cook from all of this because mm -hmm. uh, we had to shop for really wacky things and we made really wacky things, but somehow they still tasted good, so I that's so. amazing. And if you want to see us make more wacky things from grocery stores or gas stations, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you have crazy places, honestly, anywhere where you buy ingredients, it yes. doesn't just have to be a grocery store, Clearly. please let us know. We want to do stuff there and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. I feel like I'm like cool Gen Z right now. I want to like be like jump on a skateboard and just like slide off. Oh my god, a cool Gen Z would never say that. A cool Gen Z? <laughs> I'm a cuss. 94. They have a name for you guys. I think it's Zillennial. Losers. No. <laughs> Bye.